Welcome to another episode of Relative Time. This time we're taking a look at yet another Timex. This time, it's a Timex flyback chronograph. At this point, it probably shouldn't surprise anyone that I have a soft spot for Timex. After all, this will be the seventh review here at Relative Time, and it's the third Timex I've taken a look at. But there's nothing wrong with that. After all, they are affordable, reliable, and dependable. And in recent years, Timex has definitely upped their game in their design department, creating some absolutely great looking watches. This is the Timex Intelligent Quartz Flyback Chronograph, which is kind of a mouthful and it really doesn't roll off the tongue. So I'll just refer to it as the flyback. Or in this case, I think it's the stealth flyback. The specific model is TW2R55000. It's part of Timex's Intelligence Quartz line, which as far as I can tell simply means that it's an analog watch with extra features. Now the main feature of this watch is the flyback chronograph, hence the name flyback. Which if you aren't familiar with, simply means that it has the ability to restart the chronograph with the press of a single button, rather than having to stop, reset, and then restart the chronograph. It saves time and was originally designed for pilots. The watch has a black brushed stainless steel casing with a matching Milanese chain bracelet. The side of the watch you see the typical push buttons for a chronograph, as well as the crown at the three o'clock position. The back contains the Timex and the Intelligence Quartz logo. As an extra, you can see quick release for the chain bracelet. It has a black dial with rose gold hands and markings. With a date at the 2.30 position, you can see a small T on the back of the second hand for Timex. There are subdials at the 4 o'clock and the 10 o'clock position for the chronograph. With the upper subdial at the 10 o'clock position doubling as a second time zone indicator when the chronograph is not in use. The rose gold against the black background is very striking. In addition to the Indiglo feature, the watch also features loom on the hands as you can see here, as well as when you push the crown in the Indiglo lights up for a few seconds. The watch is about 44 millimeters wide without the crown, and 47 millimeters with the crown. The thickness of the watch is about 14 millimeters, with a strap width of 20 millimeters. Here's a stealth flyback on my wrist which is a diameter of about 7 inches. The watch is a tad bit on the large side and slightly thick, but overall very comfortable and it is very striking. By itself, the all black stealth look is very bold. Mixing that with the rose gold markings makes the watch incredibly striking. It's definitely a watch that will get noticed. The Milanese chain style bracelet is very nice. It's definitely something different from Timex that I don't believe I've seen before. This is probably one of the more dressier upscale Timexes I have seen. At first, the dial design may seem a little busy, but it is very nicely designed and gives the watch a great look. Not to mention that the second time zone feature is great when traveling. If you're looking for a very bold pilot style watch, then this is definitely one to look at. However, if you love the watch design, but aren't looking for the black metal chain bracelet, then there are plenty of other Timex flybacks without one. Either way, I'd encourage you to take a look. Now let's take it down a notch. We're gonna take it slow. Thank you for watching my review of the Timex Flyback. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel for more watch reviews as they come.